Hi, I'm Thea Alexander. I'm going to share my book 2150 AD with you. I considered hiring a professional reader to read this in a professional recording studio, but it didn't sound like nearly so much fun as just inviting you into my living room for the day. Because it's here in my own living room, recorded on my son's sound system, you may hear someone at the doorbell or a telephone ring, or you may hear children playing outside or a jet going overhead. Another sound that you'll hear from time to time is the sound of me turning the tape recorder on and off because I am a beginner at this. <laughs> with that, let's start with 2150 AD. It opens with a summary just to entice you into finishing reading the book. <laughs> it says, Last night I awakened in another time, in another place, in another body. I was lying in the middle of a small grassy clearing beneath a sky of azure blue. My bare body tingled. What beautiful freedom! I jumped to my feet and ran on and on with no sense of tiring. Tears of joy blurred my vision as I realized that I had both my legs again. The leg I had lost four years ago in Vietnam was mine again. I was whole, perfect, unscarred. Was I dreaming? I ran along a path, and suddenly before me stood a radiantly real woman. I've waited a long time for you, John Lake, she said. I'm Leah. In answer to my unspoken thoughts, she explained, There are two John Lakes. One of them is asleep in 1976 time. The other is standing here with me in what you would think of as your 2150 A.D., occupying the body you're so pleased with, your astral body or your soul body. It houses the unique electronic essence that is you. May I stay here or must I go back to my old crippled body? You must always awaken in 1976 unless you free yourself by attaining a high level of macro-awareness, an awareness of the oneness of all that is, all that was, and all that ever will be. Turning to the next page, we see the summary statement of 2150. It's a statement made by Raina, the wise woman of 2150 A.D. The measure of a mind's evolution is its acceptance of the unacceptable. The title page reads, 2150 A.D., Revised Edition, by Thea Alexander. There are two publications. One is published by Macro Books, and the other is published by Warner Books in New York. This edition is the first printing, printed in 1976, copyright 1971 and 1976, by Thea Alexander, all rights reserved. The quotes on pages 59 through 60 are from Time Magazine, July 13, 1970. What the Police Can and Cannot Do About Crime, reprinted by permission of Time, the Newsweekly Magazine. Copyright Time Incorporated. The ISBN number is 0 913 080-04-7. The book is printed in the United States of America with the first printing in 1976. Contents. The prologue is on page 7. Chapter 1, Leah. Page 11. Chapter 2, Was it a Dream? Page 26. Chapter 3, Carol. Page 40. Chapter 4, Alpha Mates. Page 48. Chapter 5, The Test of Reality, page 67. Chapter 6, John's Alpha and Raina, page 75. Chapter 7, The Unlimited Self, page 95. Chapter 8, Macro Contact, page 100. Chapter 9, Proof of the Pudding, page 140. Chapter 10, John's Past Lives, page 153. Chapter 11, Nada page 174. Chapter 12, 50 Foot Leap, page 186. Chapter 13, Loss, page 202. Chapter 14, The Challenge, page 238. Chapter 15, Micro Island, page 252. Chapter 16, Karma, page 284. Chapter 18, Evolution, page 307. The epilogue is on page 309, and the author's statement is on page 316. At the end of the book is a section called CI Data Excerpts. CI on Macro Philosophy is on page 317. CI on the Macro Society is on page 326. CI on Macro Man on page 338. CI on Akashic Records, page 340. 
CI on Dreams, page 340, CI on Expanding Human Awareness, page 341, the MM Continuum on 344, Macro Learning Curve on 345, CI on Metric Time, 346, Macro Levels, Criteria and Colors, 346, John's Alpha, 347, Alpha and Beta Floor Plans, 348, Typical Delta Living Center, 349, and Macro Island Map on 350.